Um, does anybody want to do any RP on their way? Yeah. It won't t it won't take very long to get to House Bob, you, but Dandy looks awkwardly at Bagwong. <laughs> Uh, Bai Guang gives him a conciliatory look. Mm. He, uh, he, he he cools down a bit. Uh, I am working on a thing. A thing, you say? <laughs> I'm a building thing. a thing. I haven't decided what thing I'm building yet, but I am Sorry. building a thing. Would you say oh. you are tinkering? I am Just... tinkering. Just don't rip the carriage apart and try and make a gun out of it. You tempt me. That's a gun. Don't um, tempt me. Hey, brother. OC. Yes. You just broke your own rule. Many rules I break. <laughs> you called it a gun. I was making a uh, uh, Guardians of the Galaxy reference. Because <laughs> <laughs> they probably oh, call forgiven, it. apparently. Because if you will recall, one of the characters tried to rip apart the ship and make, a, and make guns out of it. Anyways. Uh -huh. I um, am Rocket, Racco Rocket Raccoon now. <laughs> give me a, give me an arcana check while I introduce... Give me a quick arcana check and then I'll introduce House Bob. Who? Roll a one again. No. Yes, no, no give me a... And give me an arcana. Where AKA, is that? There it is. A.K.A. how successful your tinkering is. All right, that is significantly more successful. <laughs> you tinker a fine tinker, and you have something that probably sell for a decent amount on the uh, provided you have a provided you have a good seller. Uh, if I recall, what's your charisma score again? My charisma score, yes, is, uh, is ah, it disappeared. Oh wait, no, oh twelve. Well, okay, because it, it's I, I presume that you're maker and not the seller of items yeah like i can sell if i have to but your heart is your heart is in making not marketing yes. he's a guild if artisan a... not a guild merchant yeah if you lose a wing i can build you a new one <laughs> that's pretty intense um all right as you guys arrived at house bob um washington announces that you guys have arrived and presuming your exit upon arriving there, House Ball is the other the other houses, as I mentioned, a great big wall separates each of the houses. And each of them, well, those okay, about half of them at this point, um, have a wall in front of them. And House Ball is Whereas the other ones will have like maybe banners or they'll have something to break up the great big stone face, you know what I mean? A nice big double door. Basically, the idea is they they're practical fortifications, but they're also designed to be somewhat welcoming. You know what I mean? House Ball is none of those things. It is a giant stone wall, bare, uninteresting, no features on it whatsoever, not even windows. Um. Yeah, there's a rampart up top of the wall, and the entrance is a. There are two doors. There is a a very large, heavy wooden door, which is clearly designed for well carriages and the like, and then a smaller one that is clearly designed for uh, hoof traffic. And the large one appears to be very heavily. It appears to be a very heavy stone door unto itself, with very large visible locks on the outside. Essentially, like a, a huge heavy iron bar blocking it. Um, two of them actually blocking across it. I hear that they. Uh, it looks like this because they never can uh, vote on how to change its decorations. <laughs> hey, that's true. <laughs> but that is that is the front of House Ball. It is large, imposing, whether by design or not, who knows? Um, but is very much not inviting. 
Oh, and I should also mention that the smaller door that is a, a nice, very heavy wooden set door. Um, wait. Hmm. Refresh my memory. Um, are any of you particularly perceptive? Uh, uh, I am. I have plus four. Plus four? Well, uh, where is the numbers? They keep disappearing on me. Uh, stop. Because I remember one of you was, didn't one of you have a 16 for your passive wisdom? I had a 15. I have a 14. Also 14, as I said. Okay. But yeah, you guys notice that um, on the smaller door, there appears to be a small like slot at eye level. Well, that's it. You've arrived. A what? An, a slot at eye level. Oh. oh. As for those of you who might frequent um, less, for those you might frequent uh, establishment a bit off this off to the side and have questionable reputations, might recognize the purpose of the small slot. <laughs> Would I recognize the purpose of the small slot? Mm, probably. What is it? I'm 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 dumb. It's basically the idea is it slides open so you can see the eyes there, so they go there. And basically uh they'll question who's here? Like who are you? What do you want? And oh, that's, speaking that's it's that kind of thing? Yes. We'll need a I thought it was of a different color. I, I thought it was something like different. Nah, it is exact that is exactly what it is. I thought it was just like a I was thinking maybe it's is it like a people or can I like put a hook in it? Um, that said, uh, so, who's, who's going to knock? Mm. Long looks at his sheep companion. If you guys are going to knock, for that matter. Well, no. Oh. Also, when everybody starts walking up, I'll, uh, I'll lock up the carriage. Uh. You want me to stay, you want me to stay here? You want me to, uh, head off somewhere nearby, boss? It doesn't matter, but if you're going to head out, uh, here's the key to the lower part of the carriage. He shrugs. All right, I'll just, uh, I'll just wait here then. Uh, Danny, it just decides. Yeah, I'll, I'll knock. Okay. Oh, did I not? I did, I forgot to do a thing, didn't I? In my frantic um things all, all right. right yep i forgot to do the thing oh that's okay it's not important or that important i should say all right you knock on the door and it takes a pretty firm knock this is a very heavy door apparently um like that there you go and uh knock knock, knock. penny I, I might I might have hit. let me see if I actually scratch my wall. Oh oops. Penny. Okay, oh. it's good. Penny. Penny. So uh right before you finish knocking, as something slides open and you see two beady eyes staring at you. They appear to be very angry. And you hear uh well What do you want? Who are you? Hmm. By the way, this is this is not in Ba, this is in Con. I'm uh I'm here for uh well just some questions really. Who are you? What do you want? Go away. House ball isn't open for business. Why not? Because the Ball family respects its privacy. The winter frosts have practically been destroyed. Whatever information you have is in dire need. You guys look over at Corvine. Who sent you? Uh the late Duke. Winterfrost. He has been assassinated. So I just shift over to Dandy. And the eye hole, sh and the eye hole, sh uh, well. One moment, the eye, the eye hole shuts. Several, uh, a, a moment passes into a couple, and then from a couple into a minute, and then to a couple minutes, and about five, ten. And finally, the, Slow, 
opens up again. Hmm? And... Oh, uh, hello? This time, a very different pair of eyes. Rather than these beady eyes, apparently, in a, very, in a face that's used to squinting. Um, a, a bit, a, well, a bit larger pair of eyes appear. Hello. Uh, this one is actually speaking in Ba. Uh, hello. Can, can I help you? Um, Danny. Danny bleats back in his native language. Is I have a question. Is Ba actually like bleeding? Yes. It is legit. It is legit bleeding. What is he doing? Just like bovine is legit, just mooing. I'm and, a... then, and then of course, uh, reindeer. The reindeer language is reindeer noise. He uh, he bleeds back. Uh, I we're uh, we're here for some information on uh, mm, you know a couple things. You know, probably winter frost. That, well, re winter frost new just history and all that. I don't know. Why are you making those terrible noises? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> he looks at, he looks at yeah. you so that's an awfully vague request. Oh, I don't know. I'm not paying attention. I see. Um, he looks mostly, over. It's mostly uh, these guys back here. The, especially that uh, deer over there. He, sw um, he switches the common. Uh, someone mentioned the late Duke? Yes, Duke Winterfrost has been slain. Do you have information about this, Vid? We were there. Yes. We were there. He, uh... There we were a... hoping you... between our information and yours, we could as piece together a picture. you are talking, or as Dandy is talking, the, the eye hole suddenly slams shut. Um, essentially... Uh, it slams shut before you even before you're able to see what you're going to say, Corvine. And there's a brief moment, and you suddenly hear a heavy like click, something almost like a heavy like shift and a click noise, um, behind the door, and it swings open. And behind the door, you see two fig you see two figures. One is an extremely large and very surly looking bull. Like this dude is. Like he's big for even for his own kind. He's got great big horns, and he has you know the, his squinty eyes. And he just looks at you all, kind of with the expression, "Just give me one reason." Next to him, um, significantly smaller, is a sheep of a bit, a little bit older years. Uh, if you had to place him, Dandy, you'd say he's probably roughly seven years. Give or take well, a few months. Um, that, that's kind of weird because, like, Dandy, I, I, I sort of put Dandy at six. Yes, but um, this this sheep is you can tell this sheep is aged according to more normal sheep conventions. So, oh. so if one were to put it in perspective, if one, if one were to compare it to human years, he'd be, I think it is fifties. If I'm if I'm doing that right. Yeah. His 40s or his 50s, and he actually looks the part. Whereas Dandy, um, due to uh, magic and and a, and a superhuman, for lack of a better phrase, constitution, has the body of a much younger sheep. Oh. Um, but yeah, so this guy's in human years would be about maybe his mid 50s. Okay. Um, and his eyes sort of dart around between the group. Uh, come inside, please. Yes. Uh, I'll, we'll pleasure. tell you all about it. All about what happened. That, yeah, not, was it like this morning? This morning, you said? Yes. Oh, yes. Well, what happened this morning? He uh, sort of... Corvine bows as she enters. He sort of uh, raises up a hoof, sort of like a coming quickly kind of thing. And, um, and yeah, we I, I we come in quickly. Uh, the moment well, at least I do. He shuts the door behind you. Well, the big bull shuts the door behind you. 
you can see an extremely Oops. heavy. Speaking of which, how big is the ball compared to uh, Washington? Bigger. Um, like Washington, Washington is big. Washington is big, shall we say, out of like he like he was probably born large, and he just kind of got large by course of his job. Um, so he's kind of like if you were to compare him, he'd be like a guy who's been you know he's been doing physical labor all his life. You know, maybe a maybe a, a fairly larger dude, but not like necessarily ripped. Whereas this guy is like. Whether his actual physical size is natural or not is a little questionable at the moment, but this dude has clearly built himself to be able to uh, almost be a siege weapon. If if push comes to shove, you're you wouldn't be surprised if you could take down that door. Himself. Lily's new cannon. Um. Yep. And uh, he just eyes a lot of you with extreme suspicion. And the sheep uh, sort of like, pats him. He's like, "Relax, Ontario. Relax. It's okay. You have to. You have to forgive Ontario. He's he's been a he's been our gate guard for a many number of years. And well, uh, I'm sure it comes as a surprise, but we're not exactly popular in rain." But anyways, um, you won't actually be talking to me. You'll be talking to my younger sister, Olivia. Unfortunately, I'm in the middle of um, some very pressing business right now. Uh, I'll tell you, if you show them to the library. He turns his head and looks at him. Which one? Uh, Olivia's library? You know, the smaller of the three? Oh, right, yes. He turns back to the group. I'm terribly sorry. I, uh, my name is Gia. Which, it's weird for a... I should know, it's weird for a sheep to have a reindeer name. Which reindeer name? Um, Gia. Gia? What? Gia. Gear? It's, like, it's like it's like gear, but it's you know more no even. Oh, oh, oh wait, no. Gear. Gear. G e i r. Yes, I put it in uh, roll twenty. G e i r. And you see, bows his head slightly and um, and heads back. The inside of House Bob is. A bit different in the way it looks. It. Uh, then he grew up in the meadow, correct? He did. Okay. It. There are vague tones of the meadow, like there are certain things here that seem that remind you a bit of uh, where you grew up. Um, you know, some coloring choices. Um. It's a few architectural choices, but by and large, the things here are very reindeer in their manner of construction, except whereas the reindeer like to infuse ice into the architecture, um, there's no ice to be had here. It's all it's stone. plain stuff. It's all just stone um, with very, li very little use of wood. And it's stone? not. Yes, lots of stone. It's not okay. nearly as imposing or uninviting. Instead, everything here seems to be very pragmatic, very straightforward. Um, there isn't a lot of attention to aesthetics. And you see what appears to be a very, what appears to be a large building um, that's four stories off in the back, as well as, as well as three other buildings that appear to be about three stories tall each. And then also there appears to be a few other buildings of smaller heights that serve more pragmatic functions. And then of course a building that it's a fairly squat, low building, but there's a very distinct metallic odor coming from it. The building we're in, or is it like outside, or? You guys are outside. The co the I use the term complex because oh, each noble there house, a gate, like a wall or a gate. The entrance to each noble complex, as I like to call it, I say house to just refer to the whole place, but I use the word complex on purpose. 
each noble house, the entrance to it is has a great big wall with the gate that goes in. And once you go in, you discover that's a series of smaller buildings rather than the entire place being one giant house. Um, and so as a result, the inside of each place typically has like a I, large I do central not want courtyard. To oh, see, I don't want to be rude, but you've lost me. Fair enough. You, you've really just, this is, <laughs> I'm so sorry. Um, do you have the map in front of you by chance? No, I do not. Okay. If you recall, the map itself, in the center of it... There's a, yeah, there's a, a bunch of people, a bunch of houses. There's a bunch of triangles. A very a large... large pie. Yes, very large colored triangles. Now, these colored triangles are not one giant building I... each. Okay. Um, essentially, it's a, I, I took a, what is that, a hexagon? And cut it into a six, cut into six triangles. And each triangle represents a different house. Yeah, I got that. I got that. Now, um, between each triangle, the or the, the tri or the triangles connect to each other. There's a giant wall, and then the front okay. side, of course, there's a in the front side of the triangle. There's a big wall as well. Now, once you step inside the triangle, it's not one big massive building. Okay, that, that's a big thing. So we are not in any building. Correct. Okay. Instead, you're standing out in the open in a courtyard. Okay. And inside of this little, and inside of this triangle that's on the map, are several other buildings. Um, that's why I use the term complex. So rather than a, rather than an extraordinarily large building that's like the size of a city block, um, instead it's the the house that they live in itself as well as a few other buildings that the family has built over the years for whatever purposes they want all within their grounds okay so it's like yeah i get you so and by way of description when you guys entered the grounds um you saw that there was one large house there's one large building that was about four stories tall there were three smaller buildings nearby that were about three stories tall each and then a few other smaller buildings scattered about here and there. And then there is one other squat one story building off to the side. Two buildings, sorry, I lied. Um, two buildings that are near each other that give off a very heavy metallic odor, even from where you guys are. Okay. The, you, you still lost me on the buildings. <laughs> uh, that said, Ontario uh, looks at the group, lets out an angry snort, come on, and heads off towards one of the uh, smaller, th heads off towards one of the three-story buildings. Okay, I guess we have no choice but to follow. Indeed. Danny, Danny falls confused by, by the idea of maps. <laughs> <laughs> As you uh, arrive to as you arrive to one of the buildings, it does appear to be a little bit smaller. One of the three-story buildings does appear to be a little bit smaller than the other ones. And he pounds heavily on the door. And a moment passes and then it opens in a rather and a fairly I'm just doing a quick double check to make sure my information is not. Yeah, incorrect. Okay. Um, a somewhat smaller sheep uh, appears, and she looks at Ontario and looks at the group. Well, she looks at Ontario with an inquisitive look, and opens her mouth, and then turns it, and then notices the group, and suddenly she sort of just clams up. Like her eyes just sort of bulged a little bit, and um, Dandy bleats in greeting. She's wearing she's wearing what equates to primitive spectacles. Oh, um, she, since she got goggles, basically. 
Or is I mean, it like actual glasses? Okay, what's the name of the person that we're trying to find? Olivia is uh, who you're supposed to be speaking oh. to. Um, glasses don't Olivia. exist. Glasses don't exist as a thing, but these would these would be like proto glasses, like you know the primitive first making. Okay, 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 I get it. Okay. Right, uh, Dandy, you bleated in greeting, yes? Yes. Um, did you say anything in particular, or just hello? It just a uh, uh, you know a hearty hello. It doesn't translate well. Into hearty comedy. bar. <laughs> and <laughs> you said hello, Olivia. Yes, greetings. Hmm. She sort of uh, freezes a bit uh, and, and just sort of stands there rigidly. Her mouth opens ever so slightly. Hello? Uh, what? <clears throat> I'll tell you her closed throat. Oh, you have to excuse her. She's like this. Um... Oh, no, like, no, it's no problem, it's no problem. He doesn't like talking to outsiders. He says he narrows his already narrow eyes. <laughs> outsiders. Don't worry, uh, Olivia. You don't have to be worried around us. I'm gonna try a diplomacy. Go right ahead. I make her feel more at home. At ease. What did you get? Oh my, that's a good diplomacy. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Uh, you see that? that? You see that, and she visibly relaxes. Not a ton, but she does relax a little bit. Um. Let's see here. Uh, what? What is your name? She's uh, she's asking Corvine directly. My name's Corvine. Corvine Winterblood. And she gives a smile. Her eyes open up a little bit and light just a little bit. Oh, the Winterblood family? Mm-hmm. Oh, I, 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 I've heard of you. Uh, um, and she turns and looks at Dandy. I, I, I didn't know there were other sheep in rain. Oh, there are. I mean... Honestly, I didn't know this this house existed until I came here. Oh, have you have you not heard heard about me? And uh, I I'm guessing you don't follow uh, the arena. We, we don't leave that. We don't leave um, very much. Rain Rain doesn't like us a lot, so 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 we we we, we don't um we don't leave. Home. Well, then you gotta make them like you. Uh, well, they, 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 um, I, I, I don't know a lot about it. I, I just, I just study my books. Hmm. I mean, fair. It's your choice, I guess. I'm, I'm sorry. Uh, so, we, we, um, we do. I'm sorry. We do have a uh, business. Yeah, uh, yes, what, what, what do you want? Why are you here? It's a little grim. Mm. Uh, this morning... Uh, put this... Yeah, okay, Dandy, uh, you, I'll, I'll you say, go ahead. I'll, I'll tell her. This morning, uh, um, the the Duke of... Uh, is it the Duke of Winterfrost? Yes. Yeah, it's not, it's not a guy named Duke. No, his actual... His actual name is Edmund, but everyone just calls him Duke. This morning, Edmund. this morning, the the Duke of Winterfrost has been assassinated. Oh. And and this early afternoon, the the house fell to infighting. She appears to be thoroughly unsurprised by all this information. Oh. But it's not you, you're you don't seem very uh surprised by all this. She suddenly uh almost as almost as if her hoof was caught in the cookie jar, she's like starts like oh 
I, I am. Uh, I, I, uh, I, 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 I'm very surprised. Uh, uh, don't, 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 really. I, I get it. I'm, I'm sure there's a, a lot of stuff building up to this. Yeah, but, uh, more on point, do you know anything about, uh, deer shapeshifting? Oh, yeah. That's a, that's another big thing. Her, her entire, um, like, her body language suddenly changes from, like, completely petrified and scared. There's something very inquisitive. She slowly tilts her head to the side. What do you mean? The the uh, oh, I'm sorry. Can I, can I do it, please? Yes. Uh, Danny asked in character. Can I say it? Yes, like, you may. Okay. Um, As see, you hold the hoof, uh, come inside real quick. Uh, yes, yes. I'll be fine, Ontario. Are you? Sh yes, I'll be fine. Okay. <laughs> uh, I won't. I won't touch her. He. The moment he says that, he looks at you almost up like, try it. He didn't say it, but that's the look on his face. Oh, no, no. And then he, he looks back and says, no. If I want to fight more with you, you, if I want to fight with you, I'll give it right to your face. Do it. <laughs> and then he, he smiles and just turns around and walks back, walks in. You shouldn't antagonize him like... Hey. Yeah, that was a little rude. No. So, I'm saying for, sorry. I'm, that... saying, I'm saying for your sake. Oh. Uh, well, we'll see what happens. <laughs> <That's enough. laughs> I presume no one has any issues uh, in going inside. Uh, nope. Okay. But if I if that was you know if that was rude, I'm very sorry about that. It's just it's just habit, really. It's transformation. Oh, yes, yeah. transformation. It was uh, the one who assassinated him was, a, was as he said, a, according to him, a member of Grey Sky. Oh, um, and he, he took on this, he had this sort of monstrous, monstrous form with like just body parts just moving in ways they really shouldn't. You know, and having all these like, all of these, you know, strange appendages and there's a bunch of stuff. As you say this, her, uh, she changes from, she becomes more and more, like, openly inquisitive and sort of, like, starts leaning in slightly. Not, like, all up in your face, but she's definitely unconsciously leaning forward a little bit as you're describing all of this. It, this it's is like not... she's sort of, she's sort of soaking everything you're saying in as, a, like, a spot. This has nothing to do with the sap ones, does it? When you say that, suddenly she turns and looks at you almost coldly. But says nothing. Can you describe what he was can you describe what he was changing into? Uh, it it was just a lunch bunch of stuff like like I it feel his jaw like just sort of he I think he bit one of us. He, uh, his jaw just sort of like, you know, just like ex went way farther than it should should down, and just like you know, he he chomped us really hard. You know, I think there was a scorpion tail in there somewhere. Was there? I don't remember. Indeed, there was. His neck elongated. Yeah. The gruesome scales. Hmm. She taps her chin a bit. Ah, oh, one quick second. Okay. I've heard of this sort of thing before. There's a, I've heard of this sort of magic before. Here in rain or elsewhere? Oh. I'm actually kind of glad you asked. Um. The, the. 
the th <coughs> the group of kids. Um, Excuse you, ma'am. <laughs> you seem uh, not judging from the blood stains on you. You seem to be un you seem to be okay with the idea of violence in danger. Dan Danny looks down at himself. You know. I prefer to avoid it, but if I need to, I will. She looks left and right. I mean, Bible um, probably doesn't have any blood stains on him. <laughs> oh, right, yes, I should. As you step inside, um, this library apparently is not built for visitors, whereas, like, you know, typical libraries have, like, an area of reception and things are neatly organized. This is very clearly a private library. So, very much you step in, and there's a table for reading books on, and that's Pretty much it, and the rest is just shelves of books. Ooh. Um, books. And yes, and there are they are books. There are I mean, you don't see any scrolls or loose papers or whatever. They're all books. Um, which strikes those of you as bookworms is a little odd since books are because the printing press hasn't quite been invented yet. Um, so all these books had to be made by hoof. And there's a lot of them here. I want to admire the books. You are certainly free to admire the books. They are... <laughs> Actually, give me... Since we're here, give me an Arcana History or Insight check. No. <laughs> specifically, no? Yes. Well, he, because he's specifically looking at the books and admiring Oh, books. I also want to. <laughs> well, anyone else want to... I want to look for information. Oh. Let's see if, if Vesper won, um, won any of these. I would be I would be inclined to say yeah, sure, but you are act, you are engaged in conversation. Oh, uh, yeah, you're right. The, uh, you're right. Um, Clint, that is enough to discern that there's a there's a startling number of. Well, let's let me put this way: the collection doesn't look as old as you would have ex you would have expected it to look. Hmm. Um, that said, she walks off to the side to the table where she is, or she walks off to the table that pushes a couple of books to the side, and um, underneath you see what appears to be a small trinket. She holds it in her hoof and mutters a few soft words, and suddenly there's a, uh, a somewhat visible orb ripples through the air surrounding the group of you. And Danny, uh, Danny is now very reminded of a person he knows. She then puts the thing back down on the table. There. What was that? What is that? I don't want it. Mm. Oh, see. It's very Same evil. Effect. Transformation magic isn't exactly unknown, um, uh, but it's extremely difficult to do, and only a very small hoofful of ungulates could ever hope to do such magic. I think you cut out for a minute. I probably did. What was the last thing you said? I asked, what was that? Ah, okay. Security. Like Okay. No one should be able to hear us outside of this hall. Oh, I see. Transformation magic isn't unheard of. It's very difficult to get by. And very few can do it. But what you're describing is... Well, I'm sure if a lot of you... You seem rather unshaken by what's happened. So I suspect I can tell you straight. And perhaps you've heard the rumors, but the predators are coming back. Bagwan just nods oh, what? Suddenly. And he also nods oh, in the know about this. We, as far as I know, there hasn't been an official announcement in rain yet, but yeah. Um. Whoops. What? 
north of the city, um, about a day's travel by by sea. My re my research has indicated there's an old well, there's an old predator shrine built thousands of years ago. The exact how long ago I can't say. I want to say. I want to say about 1,500 years ago, but unfortunately the sources are mostly myth and legend. But it's consistent enough that I think it's there. Huh. Uh, are any of these sources in this library? And from what I understand, this altar was used partly for this very purpose. Apparently, if if what I read was correct, and I doubt it, but apparently they would fuse predators and ungulates together. For what purpose, I can't say. I, they, they don't mention it, just that it was a horrific thing. And I suspect that the tombs I read were exaggerated accounts. But if you were to investigate this ruin, and if you should find anything and bring it back to me, I think we'll be able to dive further into this mystery. Can do. Is that is that a is that a invitation? That's your request. Yeah, same thing. <laughs> so this certainly um, seems worth investigating. Do you have any of the sources for this here? None of these books are for. She turns and uh, bows her head somewhat awkwardly. She apparently, matter she wasn't hasn't been quite properly trained in noble manners, but she's trying. Bless her heart. Um, I'm, I'm sorry, but the tombs here are not for public consumption and reading. Consume them. Well, but we're gonna help you, so. Could you just let me tell you what have some study materials? Tell you what, if if you come through on your end of the bargain, I'll see what I. It's not my policy that I'm telling you. It's I would have to talk to Father, and the odds of him letting you read these books is extremely low. But I will at least talk to him if you if you can manage to complete this task. Thank you. I will I will commission a ship. Um, it should be ready to go within the day. In fact, she thinks she walks over and touches the trinket, and the 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 ripple kind of come it sort of happens in reverse as it goes back into the the small trinket. She walks over and opens the door, and Ontario is just standing there. Um, apparently, he's been there the entire time. Um, and then when she opens it, he sort of jumps as if like, uh, so uh, guys, feel free to give me some insight checks real quick. Uh, can someone do that for me? I'm away from keyboard. Uh, it's plus one, I believe. It's wisdom, right? Yes. Yep. Can someone roll plus one for me? I'll roll for you. Yay. You rolled badly. <laughs> oh, you know, I, should I should be rolling for him. I um, rolled worse. Oh, yeah, that's probably fair. Um, Clint, you can tell that his jump is basically... Uh, he'd be rolling initiative if I'm bad, to put it <laughs> uh, to put it into context. Surprise round. Yeah, he apparently Okay, was, so uh we're gonna be this. He apparently was fully expecting for this to for him to have to charge in and save her life. Um that's his initial reaction. Upon seeing that she is thoroughly unharmed, he um gets out of battle stance, but is still very tense. Yes. Alright, what is it? Oh no, sorry. <laughs> Except, are you okay? Are you harmed? Did they do anything to you? I'm fine, Ontario. Are you sure? Yes. I told you. Fine. I told you. I'm not touching her. 
I need you to commission a ship due north. Oh, uh, where to? She uh, she heads over the table and grabs a piece of paper and scribbles a vague location on it and hands it back to him. Here, now go. Time is of the essence. Move quickly. He gives one last, like, don't you try anything, look toward the group, and then he's off. Oh, wait, what? Dandy does uh, give him that that one. Uh, D Dandy does give him the look of, of like, fight me later. <laughs> I realized that I was muted. Oh, yes. uh, did you have something to say or much to say? Uh, no, I just asked um, when she says commission a ship, does she mean build one or buy one? Oh, probably I purchase assume... the services of one. Um, renting, Rent. I think. Ah, OK. I, I don't I don't know the particulars. I just I tell Ontario to to arrange these things and they get arranged. Exactly how he does it, I don't know. I mean, if you're building a ship, I can help. <laughs> I I don't think so. That takes a long time, doesn't it? Depends on the ship. Uh, I could also possibly um, help. With the... I'm Never going mind. to assume that Bai Duong came on his own and not with his usual ship crew. Um... The Winterblood family are shipwrights, aren't they? He says, turning towards Corvine. Yes. Yes, they are. Hmm. Well, I don't know if I should be telling you this, but... I probably shouldn't. Um, you should probably head to the docks. I, I Knowing Ontario, he, this won't take very long. Heading to the docks. Nods. Okay. Uh, if you'll excuse me, um, I need to do some reading. It was nice talking to you. Well, yes, yes, it was. Ah, uh, indeed. What he said. You should get out more. It appears her previous mannerisms are returning now that the conversation has shifted to, um, to as the conversation has shifted a little bit. She's like, ah, uh, ah. Uh, she appears to be at a loss for birds. Um, <laughs> does you, uh, sure enough. We'll be back, we promise. Corvine, you can tell that she doesn't she wants to give a goodbye, but she doesn't quite know how to. It's very... You've come to the realization that she has... She has no actual proper nobility training. She's very much... um. She's been both isolated and hasn't been trained. Pretty much. It's she a, tries, it's a but... <laughs> she sort of sits there and... Uh, uh, I? Bye. Bye. And with that, I presume. Uh, no, he bleeps that. He'll he'll bleep the goodbye. <laughs> Marvelous. Till Valhalla. All right, so and I. Uh, making those noises. I presume the group heads to hey. the ship, heads to the shipyards. I mean. I'm done with this. All right. I think it comes to mind that we need to do first. Mm. Which is? Give me a... Nothing. I said nothing comes to mind. Quick second here. I'm just doing uh, I'm just weigh. I'm just weighing what's coming up and the time we have, but we should have enough time. Cool. Okay. Dun, dun, dun. If not, if not, we can always, you know, just pick up left off. So, not a big deal. 
Um, Midnight, are you ready to play? Yes. Excellent. Are you ready? Um, give me a second. I'm just figuring out the best way to integrate your character into this. Okay. I think I know. All right, I got it. Um, all right, other players, just pretend you don't hear this conversation. La la la. I suppose it could go actually off the record. Ah, eh, we'll stay on the record. Just pretend you don't hear. Or um, actually, you know what? Um, would you guys be gents and? Uh, deafen yourselves for a short time? You can deafen them yourself. I can deafen them myself. That is a thing I can do. Do it. Okay. Because then... I, oh, see, I if will... you do it, then... Uh, we'll, then you'll be able to pull us back up. Alerts. Yeah. I'll just watch the to. stream later. Well, I mean, what, when I'm done... When I'm done, this won't take long. What I'm doing with Midnight um, won't take long, and I'll ping you guys once we're done. It's okay, I'll just watch the stream later. I'll watch the VOD. Um, so, yeah, so you gents could uh, deafen yourselves for a short time. And then, um, excellent. 